the film is very elegant. It touched a, a very deep and violent subject, but in a very elegant way. I had an idea, uh, some idea of what Kautar's vision was, but it really didn't crystallize until we watched that film. It's one of these movies that are made for for always, you know. Um, um, the, the story is so strong that it it can be and and has so many different um, layers that it will be there for uh, for always. I really loved it, and I thought the film was very original, and the script was really uh, new. I mean, cinema, it's such a long, long journey, as you say, you know, from the time she thought about this story, then she met us and then, then everything. It's so great when you see an, an upcoming director um, to express herself like that with such a freedom and, and, and courage because she touched a really strong subject. As a starting point, the script was so well written that you already have such a great idea of who Sam Ali is. This particular script I got, I was fascinated about the title in the, in, in the first place. The Man Who Sold His Skin, that sounded like was the title of a poem. She got in touch with me and uh, she sent me the script. And so we met and uh, we talked and right away, you know, uh, I had a really great feeling about her and um, and that's it. And then um, we, you know, we had this beautiful experience together and really, you know, uh, I'm sure that she's gonna have a beautiful, beautiful future in front of her. Well, it was a kind of crazy story. I just saw, you know, a friend of mine tagged me on Facebook, you know. <laughs> there was an announce uh, saying looking for Syrian actors. She gave me a telephone call and uh, and then the mail with the script. And then I, I read the script. Most of the time I read scripts, two, three pages. And then I already know what to expect or uh, well, mm -hmm. This one was one of these rare scripts that you start reading and you cannot put it away. She's a female director and, you know, there are not so many female directors that they have to, you know, so, so many opportunities to express themselves. Today much more, of course, but, you know, there is still a lot of work to do in this sense. It's so different sometimes when you work with a woman uh, because uh, there is this kind of uh, intimacy that, um, uh, that you can uh, create uh, an empathy. Um, and really, I had a great time to work with uh, Kauter. In Belgium, we say she's a, a, a witch, a witch, a good witch. <laughs> I was born in Damascus, so I'm from a half Lebanese, half uh, Syrian family. I merely yeah, just grew up in France, but I was always going and coming, uh, you know, between Lebanon, Syria and France. So I, I really like grew up uh, in a double culture, we can say. I moved around a lot. I mean, I'm born in Syria, but um, I grew up between Syria and Canada with a small parenthesis in Paris. I'm mainly a theater actress, so the experience with Kauter was uh, my first cinema experience, so it was totally a different way of uh, working. And acting wise, uh, frankly, I mean, I always enjoyed entertaining my brother and my sister, my, my, my mom, my dad, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> uh, but I never, you know, I, I took the decision to try my luck at acting a while ago, and it didn't, you know, I couldn't live from it. It wasn't um, sustainable in the long term. Uh, and then this role came out of nowhere. Everywhere the film goes, uh, you know, it's so well received. So I think that Yaya is, is just living an incredible moment. And, uh, and uh, I mean, it really deserve it. The natural uh, 
talent, incredible, so real, so um, spontaneous, and um, uh, was so easy to work with him, and uh, and such a nice person. Not just someone that is so talented, but also very nice very beautiful human being but, but yahya had with him all the good things of a good actor the first day already on the set um i watched him uh, saying things and doing things that i only know from actors who are very experienced and working on sets for years and years already so the first time we had some uh, uh rehearsals after we were told listen you both have the the role and then we we met up again to you know start you know uh, working some of the scenes etc. Uh, there it turns up with like a notebook this thick, uh, and I'm just like, what, 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 I'm, 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 and I'm just like, what, what in Murphy's name is that? Uh, and she's like, well, that's 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 my notes of everything that happens in the story. I'm like, but the story is in the script. She's like, no, everything in between. And I'm like, oh, that's you know, that's actually that's a great idea, you know. And so, and so I, I inspired from that. Um, I then like spent a month just trying to think everything that happens in between every single scene. She asked me to play Soraya, this uh, gallery owner, and she's a venomous and ambiguous woman. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who uh, functions more with her head uh, instead of her heart some way. I think me and Dea both understood on set that is that the director's part is so stressful because the director is not just watching the actors. She's watching the lights, the camera movement, you know, she's, she's, <laughs> she's paying attention to everything. And then at the end of every take, she has to remember all the things that need improvement to then communicate all the feedback to all the people involved. And so at times, you know, me being a new actor, and I think there you, you were in the same position, is that sometimes we're like, was, was it okay? Was it okay? Uh, first step was for me very practical. So uh, I went to Syria. It has been 10 years I haven't been there, you know. So after the war and everything, uh, Abir, it was for me a way of uh, reconnecting a lot with my family, with my father, uh, with a lot of people with whom... Uh, when I speak French, I feel something cannot, you know, uh, go in the same way. I went to Damascus and then, you know, that's what I, I like uh, the most in theater and now cinema is the um, pre preparation, you know, when you can let your imagination uh, create everything before uh, meeting the director, because after the director is going to pick, I want this, I want this, I want this. But I, I don't want, as a human being and as an artist, I just don't want to give the little, you know, the things uh, someone asks for me. I want to, and I, and I saw Abir in the street in Damascus, you know, I saw her. No I was way. walking in the street and I saw a girl, you know, passing and I, I told to myself, she could be Abir, you know. And Did you get her number? No, I didn't talk to her. But, <laughs> no. Sam Ali would definitely want to get involved. I mean, <laughs> yes. When you are an actress, an experienced actress, it's so refreshing to work with young directors because I think they have too much to give and too much to teach you some way. And uh, I think also she knows very well how to work with actors and I think the cast did a really good job. There's a period of 15 minutes where you're in total language thinking, oh, I, you know, I screwed up the film, I screwed up this scene, I could have done this better, I could have done that better. And then, and then, and then a sense of realism settles and to say that, listen, it, it's not finished yet. There's still tomorrow and the day after and the day after, so you have to prepare for those days. And then the same thing happens on, her, on, on, on a daily basis until after the film is finished and then you go into a one month existential crisis as to whether or not <laughs> whether or not you you, uh, you 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 met the expectations of of, of Kauta, you know she had uh, she has very high expectations you know sometimes you make movies not just for for the role but for the project itself this film uh, makes us to think how 
how relationship and love and uh, and important values are really what makes us our feel as humans we talk about business about money but uh, in the same time we see that the the character of, of yaya uh, from the beginning until the end is looking for something different and is faithful to himself from the beginning until the end this is what makes this character a hero yeah that was actually a, a, a quite a nice uh, element of working with kautar is that she she i mean she 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 had the script a, a, a very advanced version but then as we improvised certain scenes she was it was able to discern what worked what didn't work and we were able to discover collaboratively um um some nice new elements to the relationship between uh, Sam and Abir when you work with young people they have so much to give and this beautiful fresh energy is so refreshing i mean you have to do the work and we we didn't have much time it's a movie that was made with not so much money so we had to shoot very fast and and Kausar she was very focused you know on on the work so it was something else that the rehearsals but um which was really nice for me it's it's because Yahya was my partner and uh, my i mean and working with him you know when we came to set and began to act together it was so so nice to have the connection with him but uh no it but it is so nice i mean the shooting was something you, there is so many people around you i mean it's uh, incredible it was intimidating um you know the first day of filming because you come on set and there's so much noise and there's everyone's talking to everybody and and you kind of have to internalize all the hustle and bustle yeah. as if it's inside you but not you know so as not to let it distract you so you almost have to like get used to that environment sometimes i can stay you know on set for months and sometimes i can stay on set for a few days but just the pleasure to to create something and and to leave something strong and uh, just because maybe i have still so much passion so much love for my work and sometimes it's just uh, mm, not about how many minutes I'll be on the screen, but just uh, the pleasure of, uh, you know, get in touch with uh, talented and talented people that they gave them the possibility to, to become a better actress. It was hard not to judge the character in, in some of the decisions that he uh, took. Um, and again, this goes back to something I learned on Masterclass <laughs> from Samuel L. Jackson, which is never judge your character. Uh, and there were times I'm like, just, just ah. yeah. a point, a complex point in the character, you know, from the beginning to really understand uh, how she could do this, you know, and how she manages, uh, I mean, to conciliate this, you know, to be in love with someone and to be with someone else. And, no, actually, the thing that Kauser asked me for the self-tape when I was auditioning, it was an, improvis an improvisation uh, when Abir tells her husband that she's leaving him because she loves someone else. It's not in the script, you know, oh. but this doing this video, it helped me a lot, you know, to uh, understand how she could manage these two relations. And Kauter, of, of course, she asked me to do s several interpretations and improvisations. And you, when you know someone and you 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 work with the, uh, uh, a director a couple of times, you feel very secure. Not that, that I felt insecure, or maybe I sometimes I did, but it wasn't a bad thing. But um, because it was the first time working with her, of course, I didn't know what to expect from my um, from my own. A character that was playing so uh but at the end it uh well she she did a, a wonderful job wonderful really wow wow she did magic it's not just the characters sometimes it's just because i want to work with someone 
um, just because I find the, the project interesting and the director interesting. And I want to share some moments just because I know that I can learn something. You realize that all these uh, characters that he meets in, in the society of uh, money and business are not free. They think they're free, but they're not. They are completely slave or fake values. Seeing the movie, it was, uh, I almost, I mean, I really cried all, all along, you know. <laughs> okay, I cried too, okay? I know it's cheesy. <laughs> okay, I, I happened to cry uh, for a split second on, on one occasion, namely when I saw you cry going to venice you know uh, despite of the situation it was a dream i couldn't you know imagine and uh the counselor, she didn't want us to see any image anything you know during the shooting so i mean even even the i mean everything we discovered everything just like pam at once and it was yeah. in a, a normal uh, you know a cinema with uh, 700 people and uh, and we, I discovered the genius, you know, of Kausar. It was uh, because she doesn't speak a lot about what she wants to do. I mean, she's a very secret person, you know, because, you know, and even now when I see the movie, I discover, I mean, sometimes some details, some costume, uh, uh, you know, in the set, everything. And really seeing the movie, it was, uh, no, it was so strong. I mean, very, and there was an applause during four minutes and we were, everyone was crying. I wasn't sure. Um, I wasn't sure about the character that I played. Uh, was, it too, was, it, was it too extravagant or not extravagant enough or that, that, that kind of uh, questions I, I was asking myself the whole time. Uh, we did uh, a lot of improvisation on the set and I didn't know what character or ed how she edited it and um, well and I was uh, very surprised in a very good way I, I, I watched a, a movie from the begin the beginning to the end which was full of uh, um, good actors uh, Yahya was amazing um, colors speed um, I, I knew, of course, I knew the, the, the story it was very well edited, the music was um, uh, blowing me away, uh, so I had a very, very good feeling. I think that uh, even the light in the film, you know, uh, is so perfect for the story, and I, I like the contrast uh, of the uh, of the violence of the subject and and you know and the and the elegance uh, the elegance of the way is uh, mm, is celebrated and she really rewrote the movie you know during the um, the editing so there were some surprises many things have been cut many things have been re-employed yeah. differently and so as an actress uh, it was also you know uh, I mean, weird for me to discover that she was manipulating all this and it was for the best and the movie is wow. And, but it's far from what I imagined, you know? So it's kind of uh, a dialogue between us and her, but we, but we cannot expect, you know, uh, I mean, it's her vision and that is so strong. I was slightly distracted because it's my face on the thing and we're all there. And so at many points, I was just thinking, wow, you know, this this scene is so good. That actor is so good. And I was like pinching there saying, wow, oh, I love that scene and, and whatnot. But then after some, uh, you know, after that's passed and I watched the movie a few other times, you begin, I began to really appreciate the depth in, of, of Kautar's vision and uh, the breadth of the, I wouldn't say messages, but the, 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 the food for thought, which is provided. You never finish learn, to learn, you know? And also when you think that you finished, you know everything, maybe it's the moment that you have to stop working. Uh, Monica, she, uh, she really charmed me a lot because of her discipline. There were some scenes that were really stinky and, and, and uh, 
I mean, literally. Um, and uh, there was a, one piece of art that was there in the heat of Tunisia. And she had to stand next to that work for hours and hours. And she never complained. Uh, even I was sometimes really, <laughs> I wanted to throw up that kind of smell was coming from, from, from my artwork. <laughs> and she was very disciplined. She never complained. I mean, the tattoo was designed by Kautar um, and it was meant to be, you know, a reflection of what a real Schengen visa looks like. Um, so there were various decisions which had to be made regarding colors, etc. Once that had been fixed, uh, the SFX makeup artist, which is Florence de Pestel, so she's, you know, in the, you know she, that, that's her specialization, um, had to come up with a way of actually affixing this tattoo in a way that would uh, be clean uh, without, uh, you know, mistakes or, or problems or, or 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 make it as realistic as possible. And at the same time, it's 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 not the same thing as you know fixing a, a fake tattoo on on a flat surface. It's a back, and so there's a back. There's there's bones. There's there's inconsistencies. And what they had to do is essentially it was a super superimposed first sticker let's call it but it's not really i mean it's each sticker costs like i don't know how much and has to be put perfectly so the first one had to be put perfectly the second one had to be superimposed on top of it perfectly wow. so that it was continuous and it took the whole space at the back and then there was a third sticker at the bottom which was generally relatively easy to affix um and that process until we got it right until we realized that you know the, the 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 skin had to be exfoliated ahead of time the hair had to be removed uh, the process for doing everything perfectly the process for then removing it because when you have to do it recurrently the skin has to be in, in good condition for the next time that you affix the, um, the tattoo and so uh, that essentially meant that for the fixing of the tattoo initially it took a long time anywhere between around two and a half hours but towards the end of it they got so used to it that they were doing it in like an hour maybe even 45 minutes on good days and then at the end of the day they had to clean it all um and apply i don't know how many products and that took about 45 minutes so, but it really means staying uh still <laughs> for extended periods of time <laughs> and so it, it, that, you know that was the bad part but let me focus on on the silver lining which was at the end of the day i had a beautiful exfoliating session um you know i had a like literally my back was never in as good my the, my the skin on my back was never in as good a condition as uh, it was at the time yeah in my preparation of course uh, for this part uh, i met wim delvois is is the the artist that uh, uh, that Kauter was inspired by uh, or his work, at least. Um, I, of course, I knew the work of uh, of Wim, not very well, but I knew it. And then I, my agent, made an appointment with his uh, spokesman, and um, his uh, representative told me in the mail that we would have one hour to talk together at that day. At the end, we we were talking, uh, we were eating together, and we, we had lunch, and then. We had supper and, and then it was late and I had to say, okay, Wim, I, I have to leave now. But uh, the whole that, that whole day was, um, I, I forgot ab about my part. I, I met a human being that, that I, I liked very much and uh, that inspired me and uh, we, we still have contact. When, when uh, Wim showed up, um, uh, at the, the reception in, where he was playing the part of an uh, insurance man. Um, of course, I knew him already. I was very curious what he was going to do with it. It, it didn't do anything with it. He was just he was just being himself. It was, I was looking in, I remember I was looking at the monitor, uh, looking at him and he was he was more than perfect. I was really shocked. I thought by myself, it can't be that easy. <laughs> but it was, it was, it was great. Of course, it was only 
one one little scene, but uh, I, I remember that I was really uh, amazed by it, by his uh, little performance there. Uh, it was very funny, and uh, it. I think I, I never thought uh, with Kaiter about it, but I think it was exactly what she wanted to 